I am sitting in the morning. I think I listened to Tom Steiner probably 500 times, 1,000 times, 3,000 times, I don't recall, but often. Tom Steiner was important for us in creating MP3 because it sounded so bad when we first coded it. This is one of Susan Vega's most famous songs, Tom's Diner, and it helped create the MP3, the audio format that basically killed the CD. But who's better to show us how an a cappella track led to the rise of online music sharing than the guy who created it? My name is Karl-Heinz Brandenburg. Most people know me from my involvement in the invention and development of MP3. So in fact, some people call me the father of MP3. Back in the 1980s, Karl-Heinz was part of a team working to develop a way to compress music while still keeping its high quality, something that seemed impossible at the time. Speech coding was already well established but if you try to code music with such a speech coding algorithm, it just sounded horrible. Then, one day... I saw an article where they discussed different loudspeakers and how they tested them. They tested it with the a cappella piece Tom Steiner from the CD. So Karl Heinz and his team decided to use the same song to test their latest compression algorithm. But when they did... We managed to destroy Susan Vega's voice. Let's see if you notice the difference. I am sitting in the morning at the diner on the corner. I am sitting in the morning at the diner on the corner. While their algorithm had worked well for most instruments, there was one sound it hadn't solved yet. The human voice. They soon realised if they could maintain audio quality on a compressed version of Susan's warm vocals, then they could compress any music track and turn out to, for the next, I think, year or so, to be a major headache to us. After some tweaks here and there, they tuned up their algorithm and the MP3 was born. For us, when MP3 exploded and we found it was one of the most searched for terms on the internet, it was great, finally, we've done it. And in fact, that feeling goes until today that sometimes I have to say, oh, is that really true? <laughs> if we look at MP3 and today's world of uh, digital audio, uh, we have a simple saying, MP3 works everywhere. So the next time you stream a song, remember to thank Susan Vega and Karl Heinz, the mother and father of the MP3.